Morning everyone, BNSF9382 here with a little video uh, to get some more input on my industrial area back here. Uh, I haven't made any changes since my last video, but I did come up with a couple of options that I want to run by you. Uh, I did not uh, take the advice of using a computer program, which I'm really not too crazy about doing. Um, I did print out some templates of some Pico number six turnouts that I've uh, got laid out here and I want to kind of give you an overview of, of two of the ideas that I'm kicking around. Um, again, I have no railroad experience. I've never done switching on a layout. I've never worked for the railroad. I uh, don't know. I don't have any personal experience uh, of railroad uh, operations. So i uh, been reading some articles and, and different things and, and researching online, but I, I don't have any personal experience doing this. So uh, if you do have you know, personal experience, uh, please let me know um, and give me some ideas. But uh, I do have two ideas that I want to run by you and uh, see what you think. But uh, first off, I wanted to kind of show you what I did to this uh, Great Land Sugar Refining Building. Made some modifications to it. Uh, as you know, the, uh, the loading dock was too big and the roof was too low. So uh, this is just a standard 50-foot boxcar sitting in there now, but as you can see, it uh, fits underneath the roof and the loading dock is, is, uh, was adjusted so it would fit within the, the space that I had available. So uh, let me move this car out of the way and I'll show you what I did. I, uh, I took the loading dock that came with the kit and I removed it. it as, as you can see, this is the loading dock that came with the kit. As you can see, it's fairly deep and it would not fit in the space that I had available. So I carefully removed this loading dock and I scratch built a new uh, smaller loading dock that again will fit into the area that I have available. Again, this building is deeper than all the other buildings. So instead of trying to cut off the back of the building, I cut off the loading dock. So uh, as you can see, the loading dock is very small. Uh, there's not room for a forklift or storage of items on the loading dock. But uh, that's why you've got all these doors in the front. So anyway, uh, I fixed the loading dock so it would fit. And I also raised the level of the roof on the building. Uh, the roof used to sit down, you know, the height of the roof was about here. And I raised it up just to the bottom of the window sills there. So... Uh, Again, from underneath at track level, you won't be able to see this, but uh, there's the original hole for the bottom of this bracket. Uh, basically, I just removed this roof and moved it up, uh, you know, what is that, a quarter of an inch? So uh, it gave me a little bit of extra um, height. Uh, at trackside, so uh, I did get that done, and I think it came out pretty good. But uh, it still will not fit a high cube box car in there, which I think I'm going to figure out a way to uh, make a high cube fit in there. Uh, I'm probably going to end up having to raise the entire building. Um, I can't raise the roof any higher or it'll cover the windows. So um, 
we'll, we'll see how that works out. I'll probably just put a taller foundation underneath the building. But uh, anyway, real quick, that's uh, what I got done on that building. <clears throat> now for the, for the track service to my industries, what I did is I printed out some number six turnouts and I've been moving these around, moving the buildings around and trying to come up with a, a uh, switching operational area that I think will, will work. It may not be optimum or ideal or, you know, prototypical, but I think it will serve the purpose. So basically, this is option number one. What I have back here is five industries that I have turnout here, a right-hand turnout that will provide service to this industry. Um, let me back up. This, this complete uh, line back here would be removed. Okay, this whole uh, dead end spur back here would be removed. And these turnouts would be dedicated to the industry that it serves. Uh, again, there are five industries, so there are five turnouts. Again, this turnout servicing this industry with a dead end track here just for this industry. This turnout providing service to this industry and so on and so on. Down to the last turnout that would provide service to this industry. Again, this line would be removed and this spur would just come out and serve this industry and stop uh, prior to the next turnout. So that's option number one. These are, uh, the distance is pretty much maxed out. Um, I have, right now I have 17 inches between this turnout and the next turnout. 17 inches, 17 inches. Uh, that's pretty much as far as I can get them apart without major changes. So anyway, that's option number one. Option number two is a little more in-depth and a little more costly. But uh, again, cost is, is an issue, but it's not something that has to be done overnight. It can be done over time when the budget allows. So option number two is to add, is to be able to keep this line continuous. So I can add turnouts. This one's upside down. It's a right hand turnout, but anyway, I can add turnouts in there to provide a continuous spur. Sorry about the finger there. Sorry about moving this around too much, but so this involves about 10 turnouts, two, four, six, eight, ten, just in this industry, you know, deciding to provide service to five industries. So again, uh, it would allow continuous run on that line all the way from one end all the way down to the wall down there. So I, I, again, I have no experience in, in railroad operations. Uh, I think option number one would serve the purpose of switching and I could switch one industry without affecting the other industries. 
which was the you know the big point that came out of my last video with the input that I that I received, which I agree with. Uh, nobody wants to be uh, interrupted for another business. So again, option number one, you know, would make that back line uh, just five individual spurs for the five industries. Option number two, with the added turnouts, would allow a full line uh, back there in the back. So, hope this makes sense. The visual aids, uh, <laughs> the visual aids help me out. You know, uh, not a big fan of the computer stuff, just because I'm a hands-on person and I like to scale everything and be able to see what I'm doing. So again, uh, if I could get some input on option number one and option number two, uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, and again, if there's options three, four, five, whatever, uh, please let me know. But uh, in my limited experience, uh, these are the two options that I came up with. So uh, again, dealing with the space that I have available uh, without doing major reconstruction, uh, th these are the two options I came up with. So uh, notice that all the turnouts, uh, there's about an inch gap in here uh, because of the distances between these two lines. They're not two inches on center. If they were two inches on center, you know, these switches, these turnouts would be face to face. But they're about, uh, this. these two lines are uh, two and a quarter inches on center. Uh, two and a quarter, two and a half. Uh, to line up with the uh, the industries. So, again, uh, sorry for the fast movement of the camera, but I wanted to kind of get all this in the shot and uh, get some input on this. The uh, I guess that's about it for now. Uh, like I said, I haven't done anything uh, since my last video. Uh, I wanted to get some input before I move forward on a uh, an actual plan here but uh, I think printing out these turnouts uh, which is a time uh, saver and a money saver uh, without uh, ripping up track and, and ordering turnouts and all that so uh, again I think I could start off with the five turnouts themselves uh, create a temporary spur and then add the crossover turnouts at a later time. Uh, I don't think that would uh, would affect me too much. But uh, again, this is kind of one of the areas that I'd like to get a little more uh, work done on. So if I could get some input, uh, I'd appreciate it. But uh, again, option number one, is just each industry with a dead end spur to it. Option two would allow for a complete line back there in the back uh, covering all five of these industries. So, okay, hopefully that uh, makes sense and hopefully I got my, my ideas across. If you see any major flaws or have any ideas please let me know but uh i guess that's it for now thanks for watching and uh comments uh if you have uh ideas or experience doing this stuff please let me know thanks for watching bnsf 9382